You've been called the hillbilly hitman. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I laugh at it. I really do. Curtis Smith says it was September 4th when his friend, South Carolina attorney Alex Murdoch, called claiming he needed help. Smith says Murdoch was like a brother to him, so he didn't think twice before heading to meet him. When Smith arrived on a stretch of road, he says Murdoch emerged from his car holding a gun. He's down there like this. He said, yeah, you got to take care of this. I said, well, I can't do it. And he told me he turned his head. I just grabbed his arm, put it behind his head, took the gun from him. Smith claims during that struggle, the gun went off. Then he disposed of the weapon. Yeah, he wanted me to kill him. To make it look like a suicide. Yeah. Ain't happening. Of course, Curtis is like anybody else. Are you insane? What are you doing? Johnny McCoy is Smith's lawyer. Just made sure he couldn't kill himself. And no crime. No crime. If I hadn't took the gun, I don't know what he would have done. That simple. After the struggle, Smith says he ran off and went home. How were you feeling as this was happening as you're driving away? Mad, scared, all at one time. No crime was committed. Yeah. Right. Some people would think, well, he tried to kill himself. That's how, is that someone? a crime? Attempted no, I guess, or you call 911. Some people think call 911 because it's... But the gun got taken out of his hand. Why on earth <laughs> would you call the police, let alone on Alex Murdoch, when nothing... What are you going to say? Hey, this guy was suicidal. But Murdoch's original version of the events was much different from Smith's. He initially told investigators he was changing a flat tire when a driver passed by and shot him in the head. He was taken to a nearby hospital for a superficial gunshot wound. Murdoch now says he asked Curtis Smith to meet him on the side of the road and help him take his own life, hoping his life insurance would be paid out to his only surviving son. Murdoch's attorney at the time of his arrest said his client was addicted to opioids and that it had taken a toll on his mental health, a fact Smith took advantage of, he says, when he agreed to take Murdoch's life. According to Murdoch's attorney, Murdoch had grown more distraught in the months following his son's and wife's unsolved murder at their home in June. Did you shoot Alex Murdoch? No. Were you Alex Murdoch's drug dealer? No. If you're guilty of anything, what is it? Trusting too much. Are you innocent? Yes.